Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have my A5 Stology here. I'm going to cut it down to a standard size using that standard size guide. This is my April monthly planner book. And I like to always have the month, the preceding month when I'm in the current month. So we're getting ready to go into March. I have March is already good to go set up. I like to have the following month as well. So I'm cutting down um, April and it's going to be obviously heavily themed with Resurrection Sunday, uh, scriptures of that, and just kind of like floral themes and um, pinks and purples and whites and stuff. So all I'm doing is really just going to town. I'm keeping my hand steady. I use this traveler's notebook, uh, standard size to kind of trace out what I wanted. And this cut is actually a really good cut. I kept my... my um, box cutter in the same stroke for a decent amount of time i didn't get as impatient now towards the end i did have to cut off a few pages and so forth but i got a really good clean cut in my opinion from you know other ones that i've done i'm like oh my gosh so i'm stopping it halfway through once you let up i think it really starts the it stops the groove of the current cut that you're trying to do so i was like whatever so i went ahead and um and just kind of pulled that little piece off with some scissors. And as you can see, I got a really good uh, portion of the book cut to the same exact size. And so I'm just going to show you here that the, the side, I mean, the amount that I need to cut is super small. So I'm not even going to use my ruler or my box cutter. I'm literally just going to use the scissors to cut it off. And um, yeah, I'm pretty uh, impressed with this cut. So for April, I decided to use the white Croco um, uh, standard size Moterm cover. It's a TN. Some have asked, do I use any other books with my um, setup? I just use my monthly and that's it. I don't use any other books. That's why I cover it and make it kind of a folio style. All of these TN covers that I'm using from Moturn come with four strands. I don't use it as a traveler's notebook. I just use it as like a folio. So here is my little, you know, initial. This is what the Amper stand, stamp. I forget how you say it. But I like that one. Um, it's in this really puffy black. Uh, I've been in Michael's looking for my initials. I now need to make my way to Hobby Lobby because Michael's, honestly, I've been going there these last few times and it's really not good. Like I went to a different location just to make sure that maybe my Michael's wasn't tripping and even that location in a really nice area was bad. So I need to get some more initials. Here is the Croco White that I'm going to use for April. I have this really pretty iridescent paper that I did pick up at Michael's. So I'm just kind of like eyeballing it using the, the cover to how I'm going to, you know, just cover up the spine. And so in when you move this paper, it's like pink and then like purples and yellows. Um, really pretty. And so I just wanted to use it to cover it up. Right now is the initial setup of April, and um, I really just do my front dashboard, my memory page, and then my main dashboard. I'll put, um, you know, the the actual weeks that I'm going to be in it, and then that's it. Like, that's what I normally do in a when I cut down a notebook um, for a new month, and when I start to decorate it. I mean, that's what I do. So as you can see, I'm covering up the TN straps. I'm kind of like pressing on the spine to, um, you know, make a good fold. And then I put that aside. So I had already printed a lot of images out. I get a lot of questions on how do you print your images. I have a whole video for it. I will try to link it. Um, but all I really do is go to Pinterest Um and because I've, I don't pin anything, but what I do on my Pinterest board is, you know, digital art girls, purple scriptures, scripture writing plan, planner girls, coffee and Jesus, you know, and because I, um, it saves your search history. It gives you a recommended and right when I open it all the time, I always have like planner stuff. So I just scroll, scroll through, save the image, print. 
I have an HP inkjet and it's a Bluetooth. It syncs directly to my phone. I don't do any weird configurations and I just print directly from my phone. Now I do waste a lot of paper when I print sometimes because I'm lazy and I don't want to use pick stitch to arrange the images and then email it to myself and then print. Um, yeah, I just don't want to do all that. So as you could see, I have cut down this acetate. I thought it would be really nice to kind of put that one down. It looks, you know, very springish, very Aprilish in my opinion. So I'm putting that down and I use tape and then I just kind of put the images and place them down. Now in this instance, I didn't have enough, like I had a lot of quotes and a lot of scriptures, but I didn't have enough like girls. So um, you will see me go to my Pinterest really quickly and then like save two images of a girl and print it later on. And you will see in the video that I use that one for my front dashboard. And I use that scripture right there that say he has risen. So I like to use themes in my notebook. If it's not someone's birthday in my immediate family or it's not you know, like anniversary, Christmas, Thanksgiving, I'm going to just use whatever that month is. So obviously in March, like I've done like a green theme, um, you know, to signify like St. Patrick's Day, but I'm not going to like, but I put scripture and things without, I mean, within that theme in that shade to kind of like, you know, match. I'm a matchy matchy. So I am using this scripture here. And I want to put it at the bottom, but the girl that I have is that girl. And I don't think the black, I think it just kind of clashes. So I use that girl on my memory page. Um, and I'm just trying to see, you know, what I want to use. But nothing is like speaking to me other than that one scripture. So I go ahead and gather what I want my dashboard when, you know, my monthly dashboard to be and then I put that aside I really love that purple but again I just find that the colors are clashing so I think I go and grab my phone and start to yeah go ahead and um you know since that's my recommended page I just click on a girl and then scroll through and then find one that I think I would like so I'm looking like for purple and, and like a pink theme. So I like that girl right there. It's just showing her head. I download her and then um, I find another one, that purple with the flowers, download her. And then I go to my gallery and then I print. So as you can see, I'm not really, you know, doing a whole lot of searching because I've already searched. Yes, baby. Okay, she's doing her crafting, and while she was doing her crafting, I was trying to do a voiceover, but um, <laughs> she found me. She found me! So we had just gotten back from like the Dollar Tree. I bought her a whole bunch of crafting supplies, and that's what she was doing. So obviously mom mode. Um, so as you could see, I kind of um, didn't want to finagle with the front yet, so I moved on to my memory page. And on my memory page, I like on the left hand side, I like to have a girl or like a quote or like flowers or something pretty to look at. My memory page comes from Marcia Bramucci, but um, uh, I don't have that in this video. But after the video, I do go ahead and place it down. So uh, what you see is me trying to cut up this vellum and you can leave it there, honey. Okay, put your markers away then. Because I'm about to eat my food. Okay, you're about to eat your food. So I take it you want lunch. <laughs> she eats lunch. My baby is funny. So um, I'm using that vellum right there because I'm like, okay, do I want to put it on here? But I'm like, no, I actually don't want to waste that. So I'll probably go ahead and find some like spring kind of... Um, of of a paper and so that's the one I had found it was like a scrap that was sitting on my planner cart and I thought it would go very well so I'm just using it as like a backdrop and then I'm going to put some washi down then I'll put the girl and like the scripture and all that 
So again, my memory page is kind of um, for, you know, a line a day, good, bad, ugly. It's not anything like my gratitude. It's just memories. What happened in that month that I want to remember for that day? And it's really cool to go back and read all of them throughout the different months that have passed. So um, I'm kind of going ahead and uh, gluing that down. I am trying to find some like washi that I feel could kind of match. And last night I actually took out some of the washi from my box and then like replaced them in my little on the table box. <laughs> so I could go ahead and um, have different types of washi because I had like a lot of pink so I just didn't want the pink anymore. So I really like the flowers. I really like how it looks. I'm multitasking, guys. So I'm trying to also get lunch ready for my daughter. <laughs> um, we were going to go and run a different errand, but it started to rain. I noticed that I had my dog outside. So I was like, okay, we got to go home. So that's why I was allowing her to craft and all that good stuff. So... I am all about multitasking and trying to get diff different things done throughout the day. This video will more than likely go up tomorrow. And so I wanted to definitely have that done by the afternoon. So anyhow, you see me with that little girl right there. She is uh, just drinking her coffee. She's got her black hair. I just, again, I like these girls to kind of somewhat look like me because it's like this is my book and obviously it's representation of myself but I'm trying to see what I want to put down um I thought I, I had printed out fruits and vegetables for April and I thought oh my gosh that is so cool I never came across that and what I did to search for that is just like um cool April things or something like that or I just typed in April and it gave me that. So I was like, oh man, that's pretty cool. Um, so anyhow, that is what I'm doing. Now this is my dashboard. So right after my memory page is my dashboard and my dashboard is so that I can tick off the days going by in April. All I do is search April 2020, 2022 calendar and um, you know it comes up. So it's pretty cool. I, I really do love this. Now, before my, um, I put my memory page on its own page, it really used to sit um, tipped into my dashboard. But I don't do that anymore because I like to have my memory page by itself now. And honestly, this, this right here is just, I don't know, it's purely decorative and um, but there is a function for it and that's for me to kind of um, go ahead and tick off the days. I think I originally got that ticking off from Dakshina. I liked how she did that a long time ago and I just that's just something that I kind of kept. So that is what I'm doing. I'm gluing it down and the glue stick that I use is the Scotch permanent glue stick but <sighs> It's kind of a love-hate thing. My favorite adhesive is the Tombow adhesive little glue runners, but those are expensive, okay? And <laughs> I glue down a lot. And if I was to like really sit there and use that, man, I was, I, because those are expensive. They're like 10 bucks. And so um, I was like, man, that's just not going to work. So I found me a really nice, decent enough glue stick and I bought them on Amazon and they are the scotch sorry it's gonna get a little loud I'm about to put some french fries on the <laughs> on the little air fryer for her and I again I'm trying to multitask so if it's super loud you guys just kind of have to excuse it um so yeah I, I I think the glue stick it works it's fine I mean is it like super de duper adhesive? No, that's why sometimes you have to see me put down like the extra uh, tape runner because I'm trying to reinforce because I hate when it starts to stick up. So I have found some really cool like 
springish washi in my stash and I think it's scripture as well. So I always put washi in the middle and sometimes washi on the sides. So uh, that is kind of what you're seeing me do. Um, I really love to, and you know, just kind of make it, I wouldn't say gaudy or just kind of like so colorful, but I kind of do. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. So it's just something I really, really love looking at. Um, you know, when I'm going into uh, my dashboard every single day and I'm ticking off the days, I just love to look at like inspirational stuff, if that makes sense. And uh, the colors. What, baby? Okay, best friend, I'm going to go over there. She's basically kicking me out. <laughs> She's telling me to get out of the kitchen. She's like, Mom, you're too loud. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry that this video has turned into craziness, but this is why I like to sometimes... I'm going to go in the other room while I'm waiting for your lunch to cook. Um, but this is why I like to put music on sometimes, especially with these longer videos or when my daughter's awake. <laughs> because mom life. So there are the other two pictures that I got from my printer. And as you can see, they're not positioned correctly. And I'm wasting a lot of paper like this, but I get the regular paper from like Target. It's like 400 sheets for like $4. And I mean, we replace our ink probably every six months and I print a lot y'all. So I decide on that girl and with that scripture right there for the front, I don't glue it down. I kind of just tape it in case I want to bring it back up later. Um, I mean, if you carefully remove it from the side, it won't rip. So I've got that down and I really just like the acetate and how it looks on the gray. So I might just kind of leave it like this um, and then find a really nice other piece um, of some kind of decorative something for the other side, because I don't, I don't, um, tuck that front cover into anything. As you can see, or a little later, you will see how I place the book in my, um, my cover. So there you have it. You have that one, that one, that's where I'll put my memory page later on. Um, and then my dashboard. Now I'm going to go towards the back and I'm going to put, um, I'm going to save those images and that uh, dashboard and stuff like that, that vellum. So I'll probably put that like with my scripture plan and all that. Um, I am trying to see what I want to put, uh, but I just kind of trying to figure it out here. So I get the little post-it and that's going to be for me to write down the weeks that I'm going to be in this book. And then I decide for the April produce and the vegetables and all that. That is so cool because I never realize like what is in season for that month. And I actually really like that. So I can refer to it. But I put it on the back. I always have like a little image on the back when where it shows the um, post-it of the weeks that I'm in. So I decided to put that one there. I really like it. It screams like spring to me. So I grab my... March book to figure out what's the last day there, which is what the 27th. Then I grab my calendar and then I'm like, okay, now I'm using it to go to town to write, you know, um, what this book would be. So I believe it's going to be March 28th and then all the way through. So literally I'm just using my calendar. Uh, this is essential to my system. I need to know what weeks I'm going to be in for that month. That is crucial. Um, and then for any archiving purposes, if I pull out that book and I'll be like, okay, here's where this is for this month. But I'm very consistent in that the last week of a, of a, of a month will always probably be in a newer book. So that's kind of how I've been doing it. Uh, I'm going to save those images and yeah, I'm going to wrap it up for this 
video. I'm going to grab the April. I thought I was going to put that right on top of it, of the actual book, but it was going to look funny because it's kind of like a matte clear. So I go and put that April um, right there and call it a day. I didn't find where I, what else I wanted to put there. I'll probably put like a little scripture up on top of her. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I do use that April for the front of the book and it's in stark white. So obviously there's no missing that. And then, um, yeah, I'll kind of place this book into the white Croco, um, mo term, and then I can use it and start playing like, you know, um, creating in it and as the weeks go by in March. So I'm always in a book that I'm creating in that particular month for the following month on purpose so I can have fun. So if you have any questions, let me know. God bless you.